Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try In Turn the Rose by Palamoid Parfum. So another little sample from that brand. So nothing really to show. They are all the same sample in the same little box. So let's go straight for the smell. So as I spray it, as you can expect, I'm having a rose smell in the air. But even though rose is a really feminine note and also it's declared as a woman fragrance, no, no, it doesn't feel like extremely feminine for me. I don't know, it's because I'm analyzing more and more rose fragrance, but for me, it's a fragrance that will be really unisex. And if you like the rose note, it's probably a fragrance you'll be really have an easy time to pull it off. Picking up also a little bit of patchouli, and that's about it. On my skin, what I'm picking up is a lot of rose and a little bit of patchouli. And I would say the rose dimmed down in the heart note, but it's still really powerful. And what is the centerpiece of the fragrance, and there's still a little bit of patchouli, and it stays like that for the whole life of the fragrance. Projection is average, a little bubble around me, people were able to pick it up. And longevity was pretty good, 7 to 12 hours. I would say it's more toward the lower side of that like spectrum of longevity, more on a 7, 8, 9 hours. And I see a lot of people say that it doesn't last as long as it did for me, so it might last even less for you. And for the complete note breakdown, the notes are rose and patchouli. It's really a simple fragrance and there's rose and patchouli and you tell you it doesn't remind me other fragrances that are rose and patchouli based like things in the family of Noir de Noir or Zino by Davida. A bit more brighter. You still have that rose and patchouli notes there but it's really more brighter than those fragrances, more light. Even if I would compare it to other brighter rose fragrances like Toy Boy, I would say that even more brighter than this. Where I would see this fragrance, for me, Rose, it's an extremely elegant scent, especially for men. And I would say that as a business fragrance, it could work well, but definitely something that you need to dress up to make it work. It would be a great elegant scent also for other purpose, like for wedding, for example, or some other summary event that is a bit high class. I don't think it will be so good as a dating fragrance. It's a bit bold and it's not really sweet. So you, you could probably pull it off, but it's not uh, that kind of scent. In the summer winter spectrum, for me, it's more of a summer fragrance. I don't think it will be able to cut through the cold in winter. In summer though, it's, it seems really natural. When I smell it, either the blending is extremely well-made or it's real rose like absolute or something like that inside of it because it smells really natural so i doubt that it will be like clawing or like too intense for summer and i think it will be doing a great job also rose and all floral fragrance for men i think they are more suited for summer but it's just a personal preference and and it's an everyday fragrance i think you really need to be someone that loves the note of rose for it because it's not like a fresh, clean fragrance. It's still kind of fresh and uh, somehow clean because it still smells rose, literally. But it's not where I would put the fragrance. I don't think it's really an everyday fragrance, but it does last the whole day and it smells good. So you would be able to pull it off as an everyday fragrance. But for me, it's more of an elegant fragrance, maybe for a special occasion, maybe for a business occasion and something more suited for summer. So if that's the kind of fragrance you're wearing as an everyday fragrance, you couldn't make it work. Now, I think it's a really great fragrance. It's extremely simple rose with a bit of patchouli to give some depth to the rose and not make it be just rose. It gives a bit of masculinity somehow, even though it's really a unisex fragrance. I think it's a great fragrance. If you like the note of rose, it's something you should check out. It smells really natural and it, it's really a great display of the note of rose. Apart from that, there's nothing much to say it's just a rose fragrance and there's nothing like crazy about it except that it's a good display of the note so it's more fragrance for 
people that will either want like a collection of different fragrances that represent different note or someone that really loved a note of rose pretty much will enjoy this fragrance if you just want something nice clean and summery maybe a bit elegant that might not quite be for you you really need to love the note of rose because that's pretty much all there is in the fragrance but it, nonetheless it's a great fragrance so hope you enjoyed the video if it's the case well like and share if you're a big fan of rose fragrance tell me which one is your favorite especially for men i hear a lot about portrait of a lady being the best rose fragrance if you think that's the one or there's another one write it in the comment so thanks for watching and see you soon.